In this video I will show you how to make eggless custard pudding. For this we need to caramelize the sugar. Take a pan, add 4 tablespoons of sugar. Then add 1 tablespoon of water. Melt the sugar. And cook it until the sugar becomes light brown. Now the sugar start melting. It's turning into a golden brown. Don't burn the sugar so you have to be very careful when you are caramelized the sugar. Once done, add to the pan where you are going to steam your uh, pudding. Spread the sh caramelized sugar all around the pan. This sugar stick to the pan very fast. So if you see that it's not getting into the all the pan, so you can use the spatula to spread it nicely. So now leave it in the fridge until we prepare the pudding material. For that we need 4 teaspoon of vanilla custard powder, 3 by 4 cup of condensed milk, 3 by 4 cup of yogurt which should not be sour it should be sweet and 3 by 4 cup of milk. Take a blender. Add the milk first, which is 3 by 4 cup. Then add 4 teaspoon of custard powder. Then add 3 by 4 cup of yogurt. Then add 3 by 4 cup of condensed milk. Blend all together nicely. Once done, it looks like this. Add this mix to the pan where we set the caramelized sugar. Cover the pan with the aluminium foil. On the side, we already make uh, ready the pan with the hot water so we can steam this uh, pudding. Add the pan to the another pan with water so that we can steam it for 30 minutes at the medium flame. After 30 minutes, I'm going to open it and check the pudding if it is cooked well. Look like pudding turned out very good. So now I'm going to insert the knife in the pudding to check if it is cooked well. If you see that nothing is sticking to the knife, it means the pudding is cooked very well. I am going to cool down this pudding on the room temperature then refrigerate it for 4 hours. After 4 hours in the fridge, the pudding look like this. I will ensure the sides are not stick to the pan. Then put a plate and make the pudding upside down. Now the caramelized sugar is on the top of the pudding and the pudding turned out very good. I will show you by cutting the pudding how it's look from the inside. I cut the pie piece. 
and you will see that uh, the pudding turned out very good it's very smooth and very good in taste try this pudding at your home and it's uh, very good if you like my recipes and you did not subscribe my channel yet please do so and click the bell icon to get the updates on my videos